Hi, this is Daniel Brown, and in this video, I'm going to introduce bond futures. So first, we need to talk a little, little bit about what the bonds are. So U.S. Treasuries. U.S. Treasuries are somewhat artificially divided into notes and bonds. There's some other um, treasuries as well, treasury bills, um, inflation-protected securities, floating rate notes, and so on, but we're not interested in those right now. U.S. Treasury notes are issued regularly in maturities of two, three, five, seven, and 10 years. Treasury bonds are issued with 20 and 30 year maturities. Again, these are issued weekly or monthly. And the only difference between notes and bonds is that notes are shorter dated and long, bonds are longer dated. These are all semi-annual coupon instruments. The bond futures reflect this, and there are many different contracts for U.S. bond futures, and they include, include 2, 3, 5, and 10-year Treasury note futures, 10-year Ultra Treasury note futures, Treasury bond futures, and Ultra Treasury bond futures. Now, the 2- and 3-year note futures are on a $200,000 of principal, and everything else is on $100,000 of principal. And then the difference, given the names, you would expect this, the difference between these contracts are what bonds are deliverable. Okay, first off, a long position in a bond futures contract is an agreement that eventually, this, these are deliverable contracts, eventually you're buying the bonds. The bond futures contract lets you lock in the price of those bonds, which means that you make money when bond prices increase. And of course, when bond prices increase, bond yields decrease. A short position in a bond futures contract means that you're going to be selling, you're contractually, contractually obliged to sell those bonds at the maturity of the contract. That makes money when the bond price decreases. You agree to price, the price is higher than currently. Now when bond prices decrease, of course, bond yields increase. So let's look a little more carefully at one of the contracts. Okay, as I said, this is physically settled, physically settled into treasury bonds. The underlying is $100,000 face of the U.S. Treasury bonds, face or principal. This is known as the long bond contract, and the bonds have to have a remaining maturity of at least 15 years, but less than 25 years from the first day of the delivery month. So if the delivery month is March, we look at the first of March and we look for all of the bonds that mature between 15 and 25 years. The quotes and points in 30 seconds of a point, and we'll see that in just a second how that works. A 130 second move in the quote corresponds to $31.25 move in value. There are four main contract months, March, June, September, and December. Okay, let's walk through what these details really mean. The contract is to buy or sell $100,000 of a U.S. Treasury bond for a given price. Again, the two and three year note futures, that's $200,000. Prices are quoted in 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and a price of 101 quote 15, or sometimes written 101 dash 15, means 101 plus 15 30 seconds, or 101.46875. Now this is the price for $100 of principal of the bonds, which means if the price changes, then you make or lose a thousand times the price change. This is the price. This is if you're long. If you're short, it's just the opposite. So a thousand times price two minus price one per contract. Okay, let's do an example. So you sell five contracts of the March 2024 two year Treasury note futures at a price of 101, quote 22, and the price moves to 102, quote seven. How much money do you make or lose in your margin account? So the market went up 1730 seconds, right? To get to 102, 22 up to 32, so that's 10 30 seconds. And then to get to 102 and 7 30 seconds, we add another 7, so that's 17 30 seconds. The principal amount is $200,000, and the price is for $100 of principal. So our PL is negative 5, we lose money, right? The price is going up times 200,000 divided by 100, times 37 over 32, and 37 over 32 is the price change. So that is $11,562.50 as a loss. 
Okay, let's talk about a couple of use cases. So one of them is speculation. The bond futures contract can be used to speculate on interest rates. If I believe, for example, that 10-year interest rates are going to fall, I can go long the 10-year note futures contract or the ultra 10-year note futures contract, right? My belief that 10-year interest rates are going to fall means that 10-year bonds should go up in price. If I believe that, say, five-year interest rates are going to increase, then I could go short the five-year note futures. Okay, one question that it should immediately come to mind is why use the bond futures rather than the bonds, right? I could go long bonds, I could buy bonds, or I could go short bonds. Again, there's some mechanics in the market, but we can short bonds. Two main reasons why we're interested in this contract. One is liquidity. So there's significantly more liquidity in the bond futures contracts than in the underlying bonds themselves. So it's easier and cheaper. Again, more liquidity typically means tighter bid-ask spreads. So it's easier and cheaper to express a view on interest rates through the bond futures than with the bonds themselves. Second is leverage. Futures contracts allow me to leverage my position. So currently the margin level on the two-year note futures contract is around $1,000. This $1,000 controls $200,000 of notes, and so we have significant leverage. Our other example is to do with hedging. So one, we can hedge bond portfolios. So imagine we own a treasury bond portfolio worth $100 million and are worried about rising interest rates. If interest rates go up, the value of that portfolio is going to go down. Now, the duration of this portfolio is around four years. So we could hedge this portfolio with a short position in the five-year note futures. The other place we use hedging with bond futures contracts is bond issuance. So imagine we're a corporate treasurer and we're going to issue a 10-year bond in the next six to 12 months. So we've decided we're issuing the bond, we've decided we're raising capital cash, but we don't know exactly when we're going to do it. We don't want to do it immediately. Now we're concerned that between now and when we issue the bond, that rising the interest rates are going to go up and this is going to make it more costly. So we can go short, say the ultra 10 year note futures, or maybe just the 10 year note futures to protect ourselves from the risks that interest rates go up. We're short the note futures, interest rates go up, we make money in our margin account. That money in our margin account offsets the additional interest we're going to have to pay when we issue the bond. 